Good evening. My name is Brett Kogan. I'm the Associate Minister of Adult Faith Formation and Education here at Centenary, and I want to welcome you to Roots. I'm so glad that you've joined us for this service. Um, this service is a community that gathers, and, and um, it, 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 tonight is kind of a, a special night for us. Um, I've been a part of this community for about two years, and Jeremy has been my partner in crime, and a partner in, in leading the service, and um, this is his last service with us. And I, I can tell you, Jeremy, it has been an honor and a privilege to work with you. But maybe more importantly, um, I, I, I cherish our friendship, the laughter we've shared, um, the, the times that we've got up here. I, I'm not sure you ever messed up, but you know, the times that I messed up uh, <laughs> and you helped me bring it out of the weeds or get it back on the track. And uh, I, I just, uh, you are gonna be greatly missed. And um, I wish for you, as we all do, I'm sure, in this community, the very best in life. We know you're going to be successful. The church that you're going to, uh, First Nine Methodist Church in Pilot Mountain, is going to receive a tremendous blessing through your gifts and your graces. And, um, Dan, we're just going to miss you. I think we can all say that. Um, so we, and again, we welcome you to the community. We we're joined here by Martha Bassett and, and Pat Lawrence and Lee Spears and, and Jeremy Pegram for the last time. Um, again, and we, we ask you as part of this community, if you would take the time to register your tenants in the video description, you will see the registration that's there. Also, if you want to support this service and this community of faith and the ministry, you also see a link that is there as well. There's an email address from Martha Albertson, who is our coordinator, coordinator of prayer requests. If you have a prayer for this community, you want the community to be praying with you in this prayer concern, please share that information with her and she will get it to us. Again, we, we look forward to this worship time, and we look forward to sharing the message and the wonder that is Roots Revival. Martha. Please sing with us, Dwelling in Beulah Land. Gracious God, 
as we are gathered here together tonight. I pray that your spirit, your love, your presence would reach beyond the camera, the screen, would reach into our hearts and our spirits. And Lord, we do pray for peace. These are restless times. And Lord, in the restlessness, there is an anxiousness that, that would want us to, to maybe find calmer waters. That would want us to, to escape to places where we can let these things go. Where we can get back to maybe the way things were. And Lord, as I listen to the song we just sang, and its declaration that we are safe, that our lives are held within your hands, that your love surrounds us and keeps us safe, I'm very much aware that that safety does not mean an absence of trouble. Your peace does not necessarily mean that we will not be restless. Your grace and your mercy does not mean that we always can be free of wrestling with the things that cause us to trip up and stumble. But rather, you enter into all of these things with us. And you use them to open our eyes and our hearts in our minds to what you want us to see and learn and then become and do and live into the world in a way that is transformative in a way that sheds your light and your love and a peace that abides that becomes the rock the bedrock of our lives Father, I pray that you would use this time and not just this time that we gather for worship, but that you would use the time within our lives. Every moment is precious. Help us to be aware. Help us not to run, but to look towards you, to walk towards you, to come together as a community to be the people of God. We ask these things in the name of Jesus Christ, the one who calls us to gather with him. In his name we pray. Amen. <clears throat> So uh, a couple of years ago, three or four years ago, Roots Revival posted a great singer-songwriter, Carrie Newcomer, to do a concert for us. And we're going to sing one of her songs right now. This is Gathering of Spirits. Don't we make 
from Revelation, chapter 21, verses 1 through 7. And it's my hope and my prayer that God will add a blessing to the reading and the believing of these sacred words. Hear them now. Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a, vo a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. For the old order of things has passed away. He who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Then he said, Write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. This is the word of God given to us, the people of God. Together may we say, thanks be to God. Will you pray with me? Almighty God, may the words of my mouth and may the meditations of our hearts, wherever we might find ourselves tonight, be acceptable in your sight, for you are our rock and our redeemer. Amen. So as Brett mentioned earlier, tonight is my last night, so I want to spend our next few minutes together re reflecting on my time here at Roots Revival, and I want to first speak to Brett to say thank you. Um, now, Brett, you're from Ohio, and so you might not get this southern expression, but it's really a compliment, <laughs> but on your very first night here at Roots, when you preached and you just felt like you had been one of us for a long time, I told Martha, I said, Brett fits this place like an old shoe. And, and I mean that from the bottom of my heart. You are a brother from another mother, and your sermons have meant so much to me, the way you just express who you are, your vulnerabilities, um, the things you struggle with and wrestle with, and it is so refreshing. And so never stop preaching in that way, because you have blessed us all. I've heard that from so many. They're so grateful for you and for your ministry here in this place. So thank you. Um, I want to say thank you to all of you for the community that I see here at Roots Revival week after week. We have not been able to be together for quite some time, but I still have received emails and phone calls and texts from many of you, and those have been a blessing to me. And I know that you truly care for each other. One of the things that we do here at Roots that is customary is we share prayer concerns for and with each other each and every week. 
And I remember there were many occasions when Brad or I would share a prayer request from this pulpit and we could hear an audible gasp from you, the congregation gathered, because you cared for one another. I know that you took time to write cards and to send meals and to visit one another. And to me, that is a beautiful thing. And that is what the body of Christ is to be about. I am so thankful for all the times we came into the space and sat at round tables and shared in potlucks. Not only was there great food, you know, we all had to fight to get Lee's desserts so we would come early and sneak them away and hide them. But there was great food. There were even costumes. Last year's Elvis night was one of the best Halloweens I think I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. Um, and then and let's not forget about the year that uh, I was Willie Nelson. So that was also awesome, being able to wear the Willie Nelson wig and roots. And I felt a little um, um, sacrilegious praying to God wearing that thing. But I think God understands. It was really cool to, to be here in this space and to experience not only the food and the fellowship, but the warmth and the hugs that came from each and every one of you. I want to give a shout out to Martha and Pat and Lee. Their music has been phenomenal over these past four years. And it's really cool that tonight that they shared a Carrie Newcomer song. It just so happens that my very first Root Survival was the Carrie Newcomer concert. And I believe she sung that song on this stage. And don't tell Carrie, but I think Martha did it better than her. Uh, but it was a, just a really awesome night and great bookends for my time here at Roots. I want to thank the rest of you that have had the guts to stand up here and sing, strap on a guitar or an accordion or play the harmonica or a tambourine or whatever you brought with you to worship and to sing your heart out for this community, but most of all, to praise our God together. The music that you have shared has lifted my spirit. Sometimes you made me cry and sometimes you made me laugh, but most of all, you worship God and it was evident to see how much love you have for this community and you have for God as you stood and you sang. I want to thank you because you actually supported many who were standing up for the first time. Their voices might have been a little shaky and they didn't hit all the notes, but yet you applauded and you went into them after the services and you hugged them and you thanked them for their gift. Another image of what the community is all about. And I could not talk about music at Roots Revival if I did not mention the No Guilt Choir. Coming into the space, and sometimes there would be three or four or 30 people. Sometimes the choir was bigger than the congregation, and that was a beautiful thing. You would sing from the bottom of your hearts. Sometimes Martha would pull you in to sing back up on a song, and that was awesome to see. You even let Brett and me join you from time to time. And, and give us parts and even solos, which I don't understand why, but it was so much fun. And so I'm thankful for Martha's leadership in that. And not only did you sing here on Wednesday nights, but you participated when you could on Sunday mornings, when we had festival services or worship in the park. It was always such a beautiful thing to see Roots be a part of the bigger community here at Centenary. A couple of you have preached, and you have shared your words and shared your heart with us in that way. So I want to thank Robert Eslick and Andra Walker for having the courage to stand in this space and to share what is on your heart and what is on your mind and to give us a message that not only tugged at our heartstrings but also challenged us and stepped on our toes so that we could be better followers of Jesus Christ. So thank you for your words and for your messages. If I had to sum up my time at Roots Revival, though, I would have to say that week after week, Wednesday after Wednesday, you gave me a glimpse of heaven. Heaven is something we don't talk about often in the United Methodist Church, and I will have to say that when I was in seminary, my theology professor, when he got to his lecture on heaven, it was really, really simple. He pretty much just had a book, and I have no idea what the book was. It could have been a hymnal like this one, but he held the book and he said, so this is my lecture on heaven, and he put the book down. He goes, we don't really know what it's going to be like or what it's all about. All that you have read and heard is really all speculation. But I can tell you this, that we are now and always be in the presence of God. When we get glimpses of heaven, I truly believe those are moments when we feel God kiss us on the cheek or give us a great big hug, when we truly know 
beyond a shadow of a doubt that we are in the presence of God, and you have allowed me to see that here in this space. Our journey, I believe, is not limited to our time here on earth. It might be simple or ideological, but I do believe that whether we cross paths once again on this earth or not, that we will see each other again. I don't know how and when that will happen, and I don't want to speculate, as my professor taught me not to do, but I do trust in the promises of God that there will come a day when we will all be together and we will dwell in the presence of God forever. On Wednesday nights, we met here in the auditorium, like I said, I caught glimpses of what heaven is or what heaven will be like. There were times when we laughed, there were times when we sang, there were times when the instruments echoed beautiful chords and notes, and they bounced off the ceiling and resonated in our hearts and in our souls and lifted our spirits. We shared table fellowship and we danced. Yes, we even danced in this space. Martha taught us how to dance, which she didn't teach me because I have no rhythm, but Martha tried to teach us how to dance. I caught glimpses of heaven when we sang hymns. Sometimes the hymns were familiar, and sometimes they weren't. Sometimes the hymns challenge us, and sometimes they bring us comfort. I saw glimpses of heaven when newcomers would come into this space or we would receive new members and each and every one of you would envelop them with your love and with your care. And this was the kind of place where we could come on Wednesday night and some of you came each and every week and some of you only came every once in a while or maybe every now and then or every six months or a year. But whenever anyone walked in these doors, it was like they had been here for a long time and every time. The faithful were always welcomed by you, and the prodigal were welcomed even more. I do want to cherish the memories of our dinners out after Roots Revival, whether we were at Finnegan's Wake on Trade Street or at Quanta Basta or at West End Cafe. And uh, BC, which I say stands for before Corona, we were able to like share each other's food and taste each other's drinks. Again, another foretaste of what heaven will be like. The conversation was authentic and beautiful, and there was nothing that was off the table. We could share our hearts, we could share our souls, and we could truly open up and be our authentic selves as we gathered around the tables in these restaurants here downtown and just shared in a meal. And sometimes there was just silence, and I truly believe that in those moments that God was speaking to us and affirming our time together. Last year in 2019, some of the beautiful things that I saw this community do through our 12 Baskets ministry were collecting supplies. It was awesome to stand at the door and watch you all bound in with your bags of things that you have collected, whether it was for the Winston-Salem Street School or for the Cross North School and Children's Home or fans and heaters for the elderly. And then the night that we came in this place and we assembled flood relief kits, and you worked hard, and, and some of you were sweating and huffing and puffing and running around and filling up all the buckets that we had in the space. To me, that was heaven on earth. Watching you work and serve to bring peace and hope to the lives of another. So I thank you for your work here in this place. This was also a place where we could come and make mistakes. Things didn't always go like we thought they would. You know, there were times where, where I would forget to fill up the communion juice and the chalice. Or we would experiment with some type of new bread, and when it came time to break it, it would stretch for what felt like miles. Or it wouldn't break hardly at all when we were hoping to find a saw somewhere around the church so we could cut it in half and serve it. But you laughed, and your laughter brought me comfort. It was never a laugh as if you were pointing fingers and wanting to experience, have someone experience shame. It was a laugh that we shared because we're family, because we could see through the mistakes and see the beauty and see the grace. You were patient, whether it was Brett and mostly me, that would get into the weeds with stories, or we would lose our place in our manuscripts or in our sermons or in our notes, or even forget them from time to time, and still somehow God would show up and help us to put together the words that were on our hearts and that we needed to say. This was a place where you could find, sitting on the same row, 
a billionaire or someone who was on welfare or someone who was experiencing homelessness. But it didn't matter because we were all sitting at the feet of Jesus. We were all experiencing love and community in this place. And there was no judgment, only open arms and open hearts. So thank you for that. I'm not a big one that likes to say a whole lot about goodbyes and things like that, so um, I won't ever say goodbye because I don't think that those are appropriate words because I truly believe that we will see each other again. And it might be that we see each other in expected places. You know, maybe I bump into you at the doctor's office or maybe we see each other at the Martha Bassett show or maybe we bump into each other in the grocery store or some other big box store. Maybe it's on Black Friday as we're both wrestling for the same thing as we combat all the lines there. But often I bump into people that I have been in ministry with in unexpected places. I have a lot of places on my bucket list, like going to the Grand Tetons, and I have no idea what that is. I just like to say it, so one day I hope to go there. Or maybe the Albuquerque Balloon Festival. That would be an awesome one to check off. Or there might be a random bookstore in the middle of the country in one of the big square states that I can't remember what their names are. We might bump into, play, into each other in places like that. Or maybe we won't. Maybe it will be a long time, a long way off before we bump into each other again. But I truly believe it will happen someday. So I'm not going to say goodbye. I'm only going to say I'll see you soon. As a minister, I have been able to be at the bedside of many who were transitioning from this life to the next. And even when my own grandfather died a few years ago, and many of you expressed support and comfort from me then, when I saw him for the very last time and he was lying on his bed in his room, and he was breathing very hard in ragged breaths. I patted him on the chest and I said, Grandpa, I'll see you soon. So friends, that's what I'm saying to you tonight. I'll see you soon. I'll see you in that place that God promises, the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God. And there we'll take up where we left off, where we will all meet again. In the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. this idea of heaven and what we see and have witnessed here and experienced in the Roots community is very much like that family reunion where you can come warts and all and you are loved. And so you have given your gifts to us and for that we are thankful. And we look for that day when we see 
and meet you again, whether here in this earthly plane at the bookstore or the Grand Tetons or <laughs> one of the square states like Colorado. Um, the Mexico. <laughs> Mexico. The Mexico, one of those things. But we meet once in one of those places, yes. But more importantly, we know that we share and we worship the same God and that spirit is through us. And so thank you, my friend. Go with God's blessings and go with our love and our hearts for you. And we look for that time when we'll meet again, here or there. Thank you. Thank you, Glenn. And Jeremy. <laughs> I have uh, a small token of uh, our love and affection for you. That's from the whole congregation. Thank you, everybody. Oh, this is a love offering for you. Thank you for loving us and shepherding us. And we love you. Again, I want to say thank you for your love, for your ministry, and for our time together. And there's only one thing left to say, and that is I hope you will know that you were loved by God, and that you were covered in the grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and that you have the Holy Spirit to be with you always. May you know love, and may you know peace right where you are. Amen. Just go.